So I did give you a little something something, so it would technically be called an STD. Dating is hard enough, but what if something about your health made it more difficult? I'm like super nervous to actually tell them, only because I don't know what the outcome may be, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tell them. On this episode of True Life, you'll meet two young people who are attempting to date while also living with HIV. I wanna get to know you. Know you? Yeah. you really? So have you encountered anybody that was like HIV positive or anything? Even though they are both living normal, healthy lives, the stigma of HIV is making their dating life extremely challenging. Hey, come here. Where your boyfriend at? I'll have one. Will they find somebody who can fully accept their HIV status? I love you. <laughs> or will it continue to affect their love lives? Not getting a reply from someone after I disclose my status to them makes me feel almost less than human. Lexi has been in a relationship for two months, but when a doctor visit raises concerns about her boyfriend's health status. Are you using condoms? Yes. For oral and or vaginal sex? Not for oral. The relationship is put to the test. I love him and I want it to work, and that's why I've tried so much. Newly HIV positive, Jonas has moved to Virginia to get a fresh start. I swear to set you up with someone. Really? No, no. Yeah, I'll do blind date. Uh, OK. But as he starts to date again, he struggles with when and how to disclose his HIV status. I tell them about my status, and then they just don't talk to me. It, it definitely takes a toll on me, and I can't do it again. Both of these young people desperately want to find their special someone. But will their partners be able to deal with their HIV status? It definitely sucks. It does not feel good at all. It's never been this hard for me before. Find out next on True Life, I'm Dating with HIV. My life. There's something I have to tell you.